Hi, this is the next kind of example on draw on finding shear force and uh, bending moment. In this particular case, what we want to do is not is to find the shear force and bending moment at a particular location uh, at two particular locations. So we want to find question is find shear force and bending moment at x equal to three and x equal to six. So what do we do first? As usual, put an axis. So I'm going to put from here x, y as usual. Then I'm going to draw free body diagram. So here's the beam. Here's the distributed load. Here's the concentrated moment, 50 kilonewton meter. And then here is AY, AX, CY. As usual, we are going to find summation of all the forces in the X direction this way positive gives me 0 that means a y equal a x equal to 0 summation of all the forces in the y direction equal to 0 that gives me a y plus b y minus this is 2 kilonewton per meter so 2 times uh, 5 this is area under distributed load this must be equal to 0 and then summation of moments this way positive gives me cy times 10 minus 2 times 5 times 5 over 2 Again, let me remind you that 5 over 2 is the centroid of this moments. That's xc, sorry, of these forces. xc is at 5 over 2. So 2 times 5 times 5 over 2. So I'm going to write this. This is area and this is xc. Uh, so I can't, uh, then minus 50 kilonewtons must be equal to 0. So cy turns out to be. Let's make sure. So CY turns out to be um, seven point five kilonewton meter kilonewtons. So AY turns out to be two point five kilonewtons. If you solve these two equations, that's what you get. So now we are we are interested in the special points. So we're going to draw draw again. We are interested with x equal to three and x equal to seven six specific points. So draw FPD and find. So what happens is, I will draw the first one. So the first point is x equal to 3. So it's somewhere here. P1 is somewhere here. P2 is somewhere there. So these are the two points of interest. So I'm going to take a free body diagram by cutting out this piece. And then another free body diagram by cutting out that piece. So let's do the first one. So here is the beam. You already know AY, AY is 2.5 kilonewtons. There is a distributed load here all the way to the end. Take that because remember this is at point P1 and this distance and that distance is uh, three, 3 meters. 
right? This is two kilonewton per meter. You know the usual drill, right? And what? Oops, sorry about that. And what happens now is, um, I have shear force, bending moment m, and so I can solve for both of them, and I will get summation f y equal to zero upwards positive immediately gives me minus v minus 2 times 3 plus 2.5 equal to 0 so minus v so v equal to minus 3.5 Okay, this one again area under the graph under the distributed load. Again, it's not the full area, it's just the it's just the area under this graph. The full area is more than that. This portion has been ignored because we are slicing out only that portion, right? So please remember this is not the full area, it's just the area under this free body diagram. Okay, so then I'm going to take moments. around the point O, M O gives me, let us see, minus V times 3 minus 2 times 3 times 3 halves, what's that 3 halves? That's the centroid of this thing, that's at 3 over 2 equal to 0. So this will give me m naught, sorry, plus m. So m will be v times 3 plus 2 times 3 times 3 halves, which is nine minus nine minus 3.5 times 3 which turns out to be minus 1.5 kilo newton meter okay now let's do the second one how about at x equal to 6 so again i draw free body diagram and this time i have 2.5 is the entire distributed load and then I have this moment 50 kilo newton meters and then I have my unknown shear force bending moment and this distance this is 5 from here to here and this is another 2 okay so as usual if I do summation of all the forces in the x direction equal to 0 this will immediately give me sorry y direction equal to 0 upward positive will give me minus v minus 2 times 5 this is again area of distributed load in this graph. So I want you to see every time the area under the distributed load I have to recalculate the centroid I have to recalculate for every free body diagram. You cannot use the same centroid every time. Okay, So that one is done minus plus 2.5 equal to 0. This gives me V equals uh, minus 7.5 kilo newtons and then I am going to take moment around the Point 0 equal to 0 this gives me minus v times 5 sorry uh, this is at x equal to 6 so this is 1 so minus v times 6 minus 2 times 5 times 5 over 2 what's that 5 over 2 again that's the centroid of this distribution which is at a distance of 5 over 2 okay so this is 
area centroid right plus sorry minus 50 plus m equal to 0 so m is Fifty plus two times five times five halves plus v times six. I'm going to substitute from v here, and I will get thirty kilonewton meter. Okay. Of course, you know we have always cut this body along the. Uh, it, and looked at the piece that's on the left, but there is an alternate method which is simpler. Look at the piece on the right. What I mean is, look at this piece. We already know CY is 7.5 and that distance is 5, so I can redraw this free body diagram this way. 7.5 and then this, you know, here you can see that it is much simpler. Shear force is positive this way, bending moment is positive that way, and this distance is 4 units in this case 4 meters from here to here and that's pretty easy because you can say summation of all the forces v equal to 7.5 sorry v plus 7.5 equal to 0 which implies v equal to minus 7.5 kilonewtons and then summation of moments this way positive around that point Let's call this around P1. And this gives me minus M plus 4 times 7.5 equal to 0. So this will give me M equal to 30 kilonewton meters. You can see I got exactly the same values. But this was considerably easier than this because I had I didn't have to worry about the distributed force and all of that. So the lesson here is Think about when you cut the body, when you cut the body, think about which section you want to draw. Sometimes you may want to draw this section, sometimes you may want to draw that section depending upon whichever side has easier forces. But the main thing is if you draw the left hand side section, shear force and bending moment should be drawn that way. If you draw the right hand side section, shear force bending moment has to be drawn this way. So if you remember that, you will be in pretty good shape.